stiffened up. Oh, oh, why John oh, Tarady? Yeah, where are the old blokes out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait till the sun goes down. Lots to play for between these two sides this afternoon as they <laughs> look to progress further through two semi finals on today. The Cathedral yeah. College at Rockhampton Grammar will be yeah, coming me. up later yep. at three. Yeah, but we are away. ladder for the Good Girls competition. The four sides in Pool C. May has finished in its second four competition points. A couple of wins. Both teams look to battle and find their way through. Another park. Yes, some options here for both sides. Come on, with possession, give it away. No score yet, a minute 30 in. Shlom and Emmaus. Mays College with possession at the moment, looking sharp here on this left-hand side. They're going to fight to stay in the field of play. But Bella Powell will be dragged out. Setting up to be a great battle this afternoon. As I said, Mays College won two of their Three matches in pool phase. Notched up wins over Rockhampton Grammar, 10 to 8, back in round three. When they went down to the Cathedral College, 6 points to 24 in round five. So, ups and downs for both teams. Shalom College, they too. Had a good season. One win out of the three games. They'll be looking to bounce back here and what will have a, be a bit of an upset. Now it's Shalom with the ball. Off the boot of Stone they go. She'll send it high into the cloudy Rockhampton sky, but it'll be regathered. And Emmaus with possession will bring it up ahead of the 20 metre line. So Emmaus College, they're coming into this game actually with the. Uh, Respectable for and against, plus 12 for the season. The Cathedral College, they are the team to beat. They'll be kicking off at the conclusion of this game up against the Cathedral College. 1v4, 2v3, the finals format.
Marshall on ball. Run out, here it is with Devlin. Looks to crack over that 20 meter line. Shalom. Spreading it out, it's a little slap away there. Dodd beats the first defender. Challenges inside the 20 now. Looking dangerous, working it to the right. Stone pops it here for Barrett. Lid host. Tackled. It'll be a penalty. Fresh set here for Shalom College. Tanama Amapati. Looking for some space is Wardlaw. Dodd, one out. Plenty of options, gets the offload free and clear. Running is Dodd again. Shalom challenging, looking to get across the white paint first. A pick from dummy half will be awarded. First try here, Shalom College in the lead. That defense was looking a little light. Getting in there, getting it done. Bella Barrett ducks across that line. So great effort here from Shalom College, find themselves in an early lead, four points to nil. <laughs> Won't find the extras, but Shalom College in the lead, four points to nil, the Bella Barrett special. Has a snipe from dummy half. And gets her team across. Passage of play here for Emmaus. Going to have to find a way to respond quickly. 30 minute halves each way. By the end of this, we will have a Northern Conference leader as we see a few different matches happening across the competition this week to start to. Figure out who will be the best north of the border before the ultimate test of finding out who was the best in the country. The opportunity they so desperately wanted has presented themselves. They charge forward, looking for a way through. Good hands. By Emmaus. Hold on to it. Hamzen Hogarth in Jersey 17 had a good crack initially. Now it's here with McLeod. Working it across the face. Good pass from McCrowan. Space out wide. There it is. Savannah Austin cruises through the open space. And Emmaus. Muster, an important response. It's simple stuff from them. The pass from Saunders was lovely. Still an extra option out wide. 
but tries, tries, tries. So all tied up here, four points all 10 minutes into the match. It's tit for tat so far. Both coaches, Adam Booth with Shalom, Nicola Carpenter for Emmaus. That one will be unsuccessful, four points apiece. Let it back to the middle, Shalom for the restart. Cracking winter's day here in Rockhampton. Tuesday, 6th of August. Four points all. One team will progress. The other, the championship will be over. the most recent try scorers with possession right in the middle of the field. The fight will show and go. McCrowan. Pratt sends it back. It's one of the bigger models. Looks like Ella Gleason in 21. She gets back into the back line. Saunders. Saunders. Look at her go. Dominic Saunders back inside. And Lilia Pratt will cross for a second Emmaus try and they take the lead. Look at this motion, this movement, the pass back inside that follows up. Pratt set this one up. Saunders gets ahead. Another try for Emmaus. Wonderful the effort there from Elia Pratt. In the middle, hunting for the extras. Addison Carline. Right in front. Pushes it wide. It'll be Emmaus. With the lead now. Eight points to four as we approach quarter time. In this semi final match for Pool C.
So with the lead here, Emmaus College, they didn't get the first score of the day, but they've gotten the last two. The penalty again here will really help them migrate down the field. Shalom College have been up against it now for the last 10 minutes after that early score. Here's Carlisle. Playing at the home ground at the Capras. There's a little fumble out the back. We'll see Lilia Pratt. Regather. By the way, up to halfway. Great showing here. Plenty of support on the sidelines. Stevie Lee Dixon. How's it going next? Back in the action is Pratt. There's the 30, but Pratt is sent backwards. Had a fair share of carries this afternoon. Little error at the ruck. And Shalom College will withstand this one. we go again. Tackle. I just want to go forward. There's been great defensive pressure here from Emmaus. Midahouse swamped, can't find a way to get that ball free and move up the field. Another good Wardlaw carry. Finds valuable meters. Look at this defense smashing in McLeod. So two tries to one. Emmaus in the lead. Shalom camped in behind. I'll put it to the boots. Before it's taken by Saunders. Mayus looking comfortable with ball in hand this afternoon. Pratt and Austin, they've got tries to their names already. And there's Pratt switching it back inside. Booty. Tasman Booty, the second rower. Look at her go pumping the pistons. 12 metres out. Barnes from dummy half. Inside the 10. Pratt chips over the top, looking for a charger. It's a high shot. Barrett cleans up the skyward ball. Now a penalty. And Shalom will start a fresh set. 30 out from the try line. Now Shalom College! Slicing up the middle, Hannah Russo. They subdue her. They're finding momentum. Looping around, Rani Dodd. Still going forward is Dodd. But they'll restrict her by binding the ankles. Loose carry from Shalom. 
as Barrett, the first try scorer, flies in. McCrowan stops her though. Stone out. Hutchinson inside 10. Shalom College looking to tie it up. They'll put it to the ground. It'll bounce and ricochet around, but that'll be an accidental offside. Bit of an error here. No, great to see them mixing it up, trying something different. This one here, you'll see it comes off the shins. Players offside in front. And we're back to the action now. Is Shalom College with momentum and a plethora of tackles. Looked across for the second time today. Here's Ace. Now a little snipe. And it's all tied up here at Rugby Park. And that relaxed defensive structure. Asher Hutchinson takes full advantage of it. And you can just hear in the background, it's been awarded. Making lazy defense, standing either side of the tackle be shown for what it was and it's eight points all here shalom equalizing just under nine minutes left in this first half So eight points all, both of our teams fight for dominance. Shalom College have found some momentum as we move into the second quarter. Emmaus, they'll want to return in kind. They've given up their lead. So both teams have had time with the lead. And they're locked out again here as the final seven minutes of the first half begins to unfold. And Shalom College, they'll be happy to receive that one just behind the 40 meter line. In a dummy half, Lederhose. Won't get an opportunity to play it. It's an error. And it started off so well for them, attacking from inside that 40. Plenty of field space, but these little one percenters playing the ruck smoothly and correctly, holding onto that ball. They're the moments that could cost victory. Pratt. I'll take a moment. Repack it down. Pat on the short side. Looking dangerous. Shows goes. Beats the first. Back inside. Matisse McLeod. Seven metres away. Barnes. Jameson. Pratt rallies the troops to the right hand side before a third try on the fringes of the ruck yields another try. All this concentration, we saw Pratt coming around the corner telling them, mark it up, and all the defences left the door completely unguarded. 
You won't find an easier try score today. Saunders the recipient. So there it is, Mace College back in front. And that's half time, 25 minutes apiece. And this conversion could go a long way. We've seen not a single ball kicked over the sticks this afternoon, so if Cunline can get this. It could be a match winner in and of itself. So, half time here at Rugby Park in our first Pool C semi final. Emmaus in the lead. 14 points to 8. Stay with us, second half, just around the corner. Late doors in the first half. Managed to grab a converted try, grab a six-point lead over Shalom. They've been locked out twice in the first half. Six points the difference, 25 minutes left for one of these teams in 2024. Mayus with possession, looking incredibly resourceful as Georgia Jasperson makes a break on this right-hand side. Left-hand side looking strong, now the carry here, Jameson. They can't bring her down, but they'll Stopper enough to enforce the tackle. Good sprinting carry from Dixon. Dummy half, Barnes spreads it. Pratt, really good in the first. She's got one try. Pratt tests the defence. And they will eventually get the answer that they were looking for. They bring her down 11 metres out. Here's the short carry, Booty pops it away. Now it's with Jamieson, oh, the pass was no good. It'll fly out of the field of play. Won't see any hands. The question will be, was it touched? Yeah, ricocheted off the kick. Leave the field, so all good if you're an Emmaus supporter. That one, we'll see them get a fresh set, <laughs> just outside the 10. Carl Lyon, the first off carry. Post. Looks like we've had a bit of a collision here on this first carry as we just really the moment. Carl Lyon comes through. Getting a bit of treatment now. When did Grandma come here? The Otto Kuima out there assisting. Isabella Bundesen in the yellow shirt as well. But we play on one tackle down here for Emmaus. Hunting McCrowan! There you go! That's how you get it done. The easy try hasn't been awarded today. And she's sitting here, first receiver, throws the dummy, spots the gap, plenty of work to do. And Hannah McCrowan gets try number six of the day. And it's the fourth one for Emmaus. And the vision that she showed there in the Comprehension of what the defence in front of her was capable of. A plus. Goes wide of the first, pulls in sharp to avoid the outside defender. And this 2v3 battle. She's really going up a level. Emmaus have come out of the break. 
They're now 10 points up. Madison Carline, she got her last. She's one from four today. Good strike, but it'll shoot wide. It is Emmaus in the lead, 18 points to eight. Rockhampton Grammar School warming up in the background there. Getting ready for their big match, which is coming up straight away after against the Cathedral College. Pool leaders. That'll be a hard team to beat. But can the home side do it? It would certainly be the upset of the year. Captain Grammar, they haven't had a win yet. One here could be very, very nice indeed. Mayus will continue to enjoy the spoils of possession. Jameson carries up onto the 30. Plenty of punch. Samaya's side as they offload it back to Jameson. Powerful second row up. Finds another four or five metres. Working hard out the back. McCrowan. Cycles out. Just, just on the inside now of Pratt. Stevie Lee Dixon is told to bring it back to the mark. There we go. McCrow. Pratt. Double cut out. Hunting for work out wide. Bella Powell gets the offload away. It's still live here with Emmaus College. McCrow puts it under the shoe. It goes long, but it's fielded nicely by Bella Barrett who flies in and she'll be taken high by Booty. Plenty of speed off the mark here for Bella Barrett. Flies in, gets taken. We come back to the action here. They haven't found touch on this one. So Emmaus, now re-get possession. Carline for the second tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath. As Booty enters Shalom territory. Dixon drives. There's the 40. Pratt's looking lethal on the left. Now send it over to the right. McCrowan. Has it smashed out of her grasp? Shalom. Doing an exquisite bit of defensive play. To take possession on the 40. Back into it now, Shalom College. Reloaded, ready to go, and Barrett is there again. Scored the first points at the beginning of the game. Tries to excite something within her side. Rani Dodd. Skyward goes stone. Stay in the field of play. Emmaus on the kick return. Plenty of spark in their attack. Jasperson. 
Not much to her. She'll lose meters in the tackle. Pratt. Long College still quite the mountain to climb here. Ten points down. With Emmaus on a bit of a charge. McCrowan. McCrowan beats one around the shoulder blades. Passes it out for Jasperson. It'll be lost forward. Shalom will take possession back here. minutes left. Shalom with plenty of work to do. Two tries on the board. And they've lost it here. The attacking kick has not paid off and now Powell on the left is beating the first. Powell is straightening. They're letting her get those legs free and she pumps it all the way up. Three metres away. Barnes. Oh, and that's off to the sin bin. Mission just got harder for Shalom. Barnes, the Pratt, looks out to the left. Saunders, one pass away. And Hogarth couldn't hold on to it. Eighteen plays eight here at Rugby Park. Nice college in the lead. Just over thirteen minutes remain here in the second half, and it's the match. What can they do in this limited environment? Back-to-back -back penalties will really help here for Shalom. They need to find a way to migrate down the field as quickly as possible. The first up carry from Arun Bhakti. Very quiet on the attacking front for Shalom, and it's going to stay quiet as a handling error sees them lose the ball. It's danger stations as Lilia Pratt pounces and regathers it for Emmaus. Well, at this point in time, looking as though they will be heading through to play the winner of the next match next week as Pratt swings it out. McLeod, they drag her down. Good tackle there by Devlin. Pratt. McCrowan. McCrowan beats the first. Good run there from the 5 8. Pratt round the corner, the halfback attacks. Gets it out for Saunders, who loses it forward. Great pressure coming from Asha Hutchinson. As the ball goes back to Shalom. Tick tock, tick tock. As we move into the final quarter of this semi final. I want to burn down the clock here. 
what I say, a full contingent of players back on the field. Very hard. Under the contact. Is their confidence, Barrett? Much to her. Stevie Lee Dixon gives her her wholehearted attention, as does Jamieson. What a college they're just lacking a bit of punch at the moment. Most players coming in flat footed. Arambati, another good carry. Shalom size up the kicking options. The bounce is stunning. With Saunders he claims it. Bounces in every which way direction. Uh, little sniping carry from Jasperson. Ten minutes left here. Mayus, the luxury of the points buffer. But this little fumble here, off the back of this tackle. Could spell a bit of danger for them, that's it there. Didn't place it, didn't play it. Now we come to the scrub on college. Running Dodd on the fields. Straight back to work. Feeds it in. As Chelsea Wardlaw comes flying out. I just have to be careful here. Two converted tries will put Chalam ahead. Nine minutes left on the clock. And a full complement of tackles with them. Arambati. Arambati. Fights it to the bitter end. Dodd. Stone. Tackle to the ground. Good work there from Austin. Lederhaus, across, Hutchinson. Arambati holds it out for a second before crashing into Pratt. Lederhaus keeps moving it over to the right. Barrett straightens. They're running hard at Pratt. The offload is there. Lederhose is shut down though. Dodd. Dodd. Looks to make something happen on her own. But that's the end of the set. Possession is given back. Mayus now looking down the barrel of victory. One more try would put it out of reach, you'd think. Still plenty of field between where they are now and that potential outcome. McCrowan, bounce pass, escapes Pratt. And a very dangerous bounce of the ball. Throwing this pass. Doesn't go anywhere. Shalom College, they'll enjoy every moment of this. 20 metres out. Oh, 
This could be the launch pad that they've been waiting for. Shalom. Looking to get it done is Russo. Offloads. Not getting much pay for their carries at the moment. Dodd away. Arumbati. She's strong. They're three metres away. Barrett picks and goes. Can she sneak through around the ankles again? She can't this time. Pressure's building now. Lederhose. The little kick through from Dodd. They're running onto it, but it'll run dead before any Shalom hands can slam it down into the grass. Just under five minutes now left on the clock. Mayus College, happy to burn up every time they can. Restart here is good for them. Oh! Let's see what happens. It's play on. Mayus with the ball. Jamieson gets them 20 away. Rowan, she's been good this afternoon. Highest College. Have they booked their ticket for next week? Carlion. With a hefty carry. Just in behind halfway. Pratt. Picks and goes through a nice little gap in front of her. Offloads it for McCrowan. Now Emmaus starting to stretch their legs in the final five. Barnes, Pratt. Which is it underneath. Plenty of speed from Dixon. Dixon looking to go all the way. But a meter short. Barnes gets it out. Pratt straightens. So it's all happening here. So taking a little bit of time here to get things restarted. And we look forward to what's coming up next this afternoon, the Cathedral College up against Homeside, the Rockhampton Grammar School. Round out our Pool C semi-finals. The victor from this match and the next one will 
progress through. As play recommences. Shalom. 10 metres ahead of their line. It's been a hard foot battle for them. Two and a half minutes left in this match, roughly. Dodd in there at first, receiver distributing well. Arumbati again, one of the best front foot strike weapons that Shalom's had this season. As Dodd mixes it up, the little chip over the top, bounces ugly for Emmaus, it'll be regathered by Shalom, taken into touch. Good effort there from Hayley Nash, but unfortunately not enough. Mayers back with the ball. What can they do in the final minutes of this game? Tasman Booty. Pratt. McCrowan. Emmaus. Final minutes of play. They've done it. They're going to win this semi final. And they go just one step further. And charge forward. Dixon. With the carry, they're trying to push their way over on the fringes. Shalom, we'll get one more roll of the dice here. <laughs> or they won't. Full time here at Rugby Park. It is Emmaus College with the victory. 20 points to eight over Shalom College. Congratulations to both teams. Remember, stay with us here. Another game coming up very shortly. It'll be the Cathedral College up against Rockhampton Grammar School.